Well, here we are in Price Studios in London. We're doing rehearsals for a brand new adult reimagining of the classic fairy tale Beauty and the Beast. There will be a story which is about acceptance of difference. Um, there'll be a story which the performers themselves represent, I think, which are some questions about you know what is really beautiful, what is really beastly. What we like to do is uh, prov provoke and poke fun at the absurdity of normality. And so this is a very good way of being able to do that. In our version, the beast's deformity is part of his beastliness as viewed by society, etc. Beauty and the Beast came as an experiment between Matt Fraser and myself. Matt wanted to work on a new project with somebody different, and I'm an American burlesque star and art star and he said hey you want to work on a project and I looked at him and I was like how about Beauty and the Beast and everything just the ring of truth that we heard that ting. They met and they fell in love with each other and they're now together. It's so it's the story of Beauty and the Beast but it's, it's also their own personal Beauty and Beast story. I'm at that point in a rehearsals where you're you know lots of things and you know absolutely nothing <laughs> because there's so much to kind of get into. You know, when you're devising a show, there's always the different elements coming together and you can feel it all aiming towards the, the show that will happen uh, in about just over a week's time. The script is derived primarily through improvisational exercises and personal stories, most of which are transcribed. Writing transcripts of the improvisation and then reading those back. And although the words have already been said as improv, when they're said in a more deliberate way, what wants to be used and what doesn't want to be used tends to come forth and make itself known. And so using a combination of these techniques and a bit of once upon a time storytelling, um, we're arriving with the script. So you've probably seen on the wall there's like a, a storyboard and there's lots of... I mean, it is like one of those things where a detective's trying to work out all the bit. Is this relevant to the case? <laughs> is this relevant to the show? But the, the little notes around the, it looks like a, some crazy guy is uh, writing a film, doesn't it? And they've got all these scenes of pretty much collectively, we are the crazy guy, and that's what's going on. There is something, I think, courageous about going through that process together. And there is a point where I think people could kind of get separated because they might get worried. And the courageous thing is to really kind of stay together as a team in those, those difficult points. The courage is about holding off, not making decisions just to make yourself feel more secure. So there's, a, there's more a sort of sense of vulnerability about it, I think. I think particularly with devised shows, you never really know until an audience turns up. They can expect to see a really lovely romance. We're gonna try and make people cry. I think, I hope we can make the audience laugh. The things that you would like to be in a story of Beauty and the Beast, so there'll be moments that are scary, there'll be moments of magic, and there'll be moments that are romantic. And then I think also they'll get a whole lot of other stuff that they didn't know they were going to get. Obviously they're up for a little adventure and excitement and something different, well they're certainly going to get that. <laughs>